Hello, I am VN Bhattacharya. Welcome to my series at Question of Leadership. Here I bring you ordinary stories from everyday life that provide rich insights on leadership. I was a Calo 26, an area sales manager of Hindustan Lever, now Hindustan Unilever. I was based in Calcutta and I was responsible for the Eastern region, a vast territory. I needed to travel almost every week and spend very little time in the office. That was the nature of my job. So I needed support in the office and I had two people. Shankaran was my secretary or stenotypist as we called them and Krishnan, he was a clerk and he was a rock. Both were very good in their work. Krishnan especially was meticulous, sincere, accurate and always on top of his work. If I ever needed any information, Krishnan was the go-to person. But occasionally, I needed them to stay back, or at least one of them to stay back. Shankaran always obliged, but Krishnan never did. Krishnan was a member of unionized staff and he was entitled to overtime pay for the time that he put in beyond office hours, but he never earned overtime. It would inconvenience me from time to time, but I always wondered what was it that kept him from spending that little extra half hour or one hour or hour and a half or very occasionally in the office. I wondered if there was a compulsion at home, did he have an elderly relative to take care of or was there any other reason that was compelling. So the next time when he declined, I sat him down in my room and I asked him, why? Krishnan apologized. And he said he needed to be home to tutor his son. He explained that he had been tutoring his son for years through his school. He would take a bus at five, be home by six, a quick shower, a cup of coffee, and then he would spend a good two hours with his son. He would check the classwork, he would help him complete the homework and then prepare him for the next day. What more can I do, he said, than to prepare him for a good start? He was very keen that his son graduate from school with good marks so that he could get admission in a good institution, a good college. And that would of course set him off, hopefully to a good career. Krishnan apologized again. In spite of the inconvenience that this meant to me from time to time, I could not but admire his sense of purpose and his dedication to it. Do you think he was a leader? How? Do right with your views. I hope your inputs would lead to a rich exchange and we would all learn from it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you did. You will get an alert each time I publish a new post. Thank you again. Stay well, stay safe.